God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawasha. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to all the fullness of God. Ephesians three seventeen through 19. It's a key to faith that we sometimes take for granted. Yahushua loves us so much that he died on the cross. John three sixteen. He acted out of love. That was his motive. Yes, it's a sacrificial love. He left his throne in heaven for more than three decades and then humbled himself to death on a cross. He was willing to give up everything for you. Likewise, it's a saving love. He takes away your sins and restores your relationship with the Father, providing what you couldn't give on your own. Oh, his love. But what can impact your faith today is that it's also a rooting establishing and filling love. The love of Christ grounds you, steadies you, builds you, and satisfies you in a manner that's intensely personal and unique to your being. He lovingly reaches into the deepest places of your inadequacy of your fear, your hurt, and despair, and fills all that's lacking to overflowing. That's why you can trust him in every situation and always walk in faith, see? I know the plans that I have for you, plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. It's clear from Scripture that the Father has a plan for your life. After all, God's not a reactor. He's a planner. You can see it in the way he made Yahushua, your Savior. How he worked through Israel. The sacrificial system. And even Christ's lineage to fulfill thousands of prophecies and provide everything necessary. He coordinated your redemption with extraordinary foresight for thought in detail. When it comes to his will for your life, the same is true. This thought should be comforting to you today. Your life is not random. Your gifts, your personality, your talents, and your background are not a mistake. Read Acts 17, 
26 and 27. And as you seek an intimate relationship with the Savior, He can eliminate your doubts and your fears. He can fill you with a sense of certainty, of confidence, and purpose as you follow Him. So how do the details you are facing today fit into His plan? Oh, his love. How do the struggles, the frustrations, the obstacles, and the challenges further you on the path of his will? It won't always make sense. But one thing is certain. God loves it when you go to him to find out. Read Jeremiah 29, 12, and 13. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, I trust you, Dad. Oh, Dad, I trust your will for my life. I trust you to lead me. I trust you, Lord. Dad, your love is amazing. Help me to love and to be with you forever. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. Thank you, Lord. You be blessed now, you hear?